This tutorial for Photoshop CS6 is combining two images into one file and then saving for the web. So the first thing we want to do is check what our image size is. Now this is uh, 400 uh, and 2 by 400 pixels, okay. My second image is pretty close, 400 by 400 approximately. Okay, that gives me an idea of what I need to do for the new file, what size it needs to be. So I want to open a new file. So I need at least double plus space for a border. Okay, I'm going to say 900 pixels and I want a little bit of space above and below for a border. So I'm going to put that in at 500 and say OK. And I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to select all and copy it and either command or control option copy, right? Command V, control option or Command V, depending on whether you're using a PC or a Mac. I'm going to move that into position. And let me just bring this in and show you what happens here. It adds a layer. Anytime in Photoshop we copy and paste, it automatically adds a layer. So I'm going to go to this one, okay, and I'm going to select all and copy it here into the new one. And notice the second layer appeared. Okay, so now I can move that into position. Let me just stretch this out a little bit for viewing and make some space between so that each each object, each design has clarity around it. I want to use a text box and notice I've got a gray font uh, color selected and a small kind of standard font. I'm going to make a text box. Type my name and it's a little too close to that um, border so I'm going to move that down a little bit because I don't want anything touching the artwork. The artwork really needs to stand on its own. And we want small text so that it also does not, um, you know, just kind of overpower the artwork. Okay, so now I want to go to File, Save for Web. I want to make sure my preset is JPEG High, and I'm in the JPEG mode, High, right? Optimized for the uh, uh, web, it com com creates smaller but less compatible files, but for uh, using a JPEG, it is a universal file format, and we use that one for the classroom, so make sure you select Optimize. And if I wanted to change the file size, make sure that this image toggle is locked. Say I wanted to make it at 800 pixels because the assignment specifies uh, you know, 800 pixels wide. I don't mind if it's a little bit larger, but if you wanted to make it 800, that's fine, but make sure this toggle is not unchecked, otherwise you're going to get image distortion. So keep that checked, and then we're going to save, and then we're going to uh, title our image file by our last name, our first name, the week number, and the assignment number, and then make sure it, it will say JPEG there. And then we're going to save that, and Now I have an image file ready to go to upload to the classroom. I hope that helps and let me know if you have any questions in week one problems and solutions.